Today's video is going to be discussing fetal hemoglobin. So, fetal hemoglobin is the main oxygen transport protein in the human fetus and it's present in the last seven months in the uterus and in the infant up until six months old. So, it has a much greater affinity for oxygen because it must bind oxygen from the mother's bloodstream. So, the image we have here is a oxygen dissociation curve for fetal hemoglobin and a normal adult hemoglobin and you can see that the fetal hemoglobin curve is shifted to the left and what this means is that it can bind oxygen at a much lower partial pressure okay and this is because it must obtain its oxygen from the mother's bloodstream so um, not only can it actually obtain the oxygen it must do it when it's at a lower partial pressure so this occurs because of something which is known as 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate and this is present in adult hemoglobin and it's present in fetal hemoglobin um, but in fetal hemoglobin it has less interaction with the um, hemoglobin so fetal hemoglobin has a greater affinity of oxygen because there is less interaction between the fetal hemoglobin and 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate now normally in an adult hemoglobin 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate decreases the affinity of hemoglobin for oxygen however in the fetal hemoglobin the binding pocket which contains 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate contains a different amino acid and usually it's histidine which is positively charged it's usually histidine in adult hemoglobin but in the fetal hemoglobin it's bound to serine which is negatively charged and this doesn't interact as well to 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate and this difference and this change means that 2,3 bisphosphoglycerate doesn't bind as well to the fetal hemoglobin so as a result oxygen will bind to it with a higher affinity than hemoglobin. I hope this video was useful. Thanks for watching.